Hello YouTube friends, this is Molar Molar, and I'm excited to do this tips and tricks video. We're going to show you how to do the small senator housing block. It is my favorite little block. I use it all the time in far-flung areas of my cities, in the industry and farming areas to give me some reliable employment and an easy to manage housing block that doesn't require a lot of goods and services. It basically consists of a six by six square with an entrance and a roadblock just to keep everybody on the inside. It holds 10 houses, which means if you give it food, entertainment, and a god, and water, of course, it will evolve up to 600 people with the 10 houses. And it will be able to supply a lot of industry and farming and make it easy for them to find them on all four sides of this housing block. So I've laid down some pottery and beer producers so we can evolve the housing block up. A little food area, a little bit of a wood and papyrus area so I don't go into debt too much. And a palace just so that we can show you where to put the tax collector. First building I usually place is the religious buildings. The block is balanced for the gods. It will keep them happy. One of the neat things about placing down your religious buildings first is it allows you to put down some plazas. I usually put them here leaving room for my bandstand and my booth. And that generally ensures that I don't have to do anything to supply any gardens around this. The desirability here from the temple and shrines and plazas will be enough to evolve these houses up to where I want them to be. So we have four buildings we need to provide to this housing block for services. We need, of course, to do a water supply. We need a physician. We need a tax collector, usually not this early in the mission, but I want to show where it goes. And then I place down a bazaar and we'll start bringing people in. Just before I go any further, I'll want to make sure that this block doesn't fall down. It doesn't burn down. And we don't have anybody steal the one Devon that's going to be in our tax collector's office. This also has room for a dentist. It'll also hold a apothecary if this map had reeds and you were worried about malaria. So this first house here, of course, gives room for 20 people. As soon as the water carrier gets them, it will go up to 28. As soon as they notice the food and the god, they will evolve up to a rough cottage and it will hold 52 people. So very quickly, in this mission, you'll see this block has the potential to hold 520 people. We'll give it entertainment and bring it up to 600. Single venue will be enough to evolve these up to ordinary cottages. And then when we're ready to bring in pottery and beer, I will put the bandstand down. Everything is up very nicely to ordinary cottages. We'll put down the bandstand and the housing block is basically complete. So this will hold 600 people without giving them pottery or beer. If you can do both easily, you can take this up to 720. We'll buy beer and pottery here, get it evolved up, and then we'll pop back in when we reach our full housing potential and just have a little chat about a couple of things, and the tutorial is done. This is the small senator block. This is about the time where you have to start putting some gardens in. You see, we don't need a lot of extra attention in order to evolve everybody all the way up to modest apartments. So here we are at 720 people. 
we require one additional worker for all the jobs we've got out into town. And you can see we've got a lot that we are trying to employ here. We've got for each of all of our industry buildings, we've got granaries, storage yards. It's a pretty robust block in terms of being able to provide population. Easy to place, not a lot of work. No scribal schools, of course, which is a downside. No mortuaries, but that's the job of the bigger blocks. We're perfect rated on juggler stages and musician stages. There are no dancers in this, but this is also a job for our bigger blocks. And our gods are happy. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you get a chance to use this. It is my favorite little workhorse block.